Right folks, it's been helping you out here, best part of Friday night and all day Saturday. We've just been doing the latest for what wagons have got and what logos pulling what at the minute. And I've been looking at the latest. I've got three gold trains, which I'm thinking about getting rid of what on. I'm just having to, which we've got the HH, HAs as a gold train and the HTA as a gold train. And also some HEAs as a coal train, which is eighty H E A's. I'm thinking about probably putting them on eBay and selling them. Ain't too sure yet. I'm just trying to uh, narrow the um, coal trains down. No, no, I'll sell them and not get no else. What I'll do, want is some boxes for the we'll just go round here some container wagons for the class. 57 which is my son's which I keep saying to him I'm going to have to get him some container wagons for uh, probably also some container wagons for my other freight line 66 which is up here if we just go up here there we we'll go for that 66 as well see here we've got a 66 60 on the HTAs and the I'll go back up this way got my other freight line 66 532 on the HHA's old train. Now, if we go over to the fiddle yard side, and look, this side in is probably going to be coming out from there, and same at the other end at that point. All because basically, I don't know if you notice my scrap um, wagons, my batchman scrap wagons ain't here, that me 60 normally pulls. And from that, I'm going to take that out. If we go back over here to where the point is, to see this curve point on the longest three siding. I'm hoping probably to put that point just there. And obviously, after that point's gone and that siding, I'm hoping to get another siding just there to come up here from there, up here or somewhere around about here anyway. This fact is, I'm going to need some longer sidings for here if I get container wagons. And also, I want some 100 ton tank wagons and um, BP or shit, I ain't too far, so I ain't had a look yet. And also, I've got the majority of you've seen, I've got a nice rake of sea cows where it's basically split down in two. See, so I've got the EWS 5847 on it, and down here, I've got EWS 1s and the blue main line. Well, one is two sea cow trains, so. I'm going to have the EWS one and also a mainline blue one. We we'll go up here. Up here, I've got a few sidings up here. Don't know if you all can see. That's where some container wagons are going to go. I've just put another board down now. I'm just going to try and see if I can swing another few sidings for the container area. Uh, area. For all my box wagons for the 6657. And we get down here. Obviously, uh, you've seen in the previous video, that line there is going to have a curve point either just there or further back to where the main line comes off to join these two up so you can run in and out the station. Also, I'm able to hold two trains in the station and run two still straight three which soon hopefully that'll be done we'll go around here as i was saying about the batsman scrap wagons i just gave a little idea at weekend i have myself a little scrap yard if we just go over this side around here i'm gonna have my own little scrap yard probably some trucks going up there and joining on you can just see in the background there the scrap wagons joining on all the way down there and hopefully just coming off here off the main on whether that's going to be a curve point just there or I might just put a normal standard maybe a medium radius point there streamline points to join them up and see if we can get two sidings up here you see how roughly done I've just squeezed two sidings in for now but these these standard points they um open sidings up a bit more but like i said i might just have a normal streamline just there 
it'll close close the gap up because as you can see I've got to retain them all in now just to split the old affair up he's got to get a bit of ply or something to go on the top be able to go make a bridge probably see well done sir uh, bridge mouth just there so it looks like you're going through a tunnel and also a bridge mouth there just, just basically it's a block the um, scrap your um, scrap side scrap wagon sidings um, so they ain't you know so you can see everything that's going on it's just like a little block off sort of thing no obviously once it's down here you can see them anyway next time they're filming hopefully the scrap yard be done also down here when I've done these points I'll try and get another point coming round off here because if we go round here Oh, you lot, you haven't seen this yet. And we've started my retaining wall just there after I put a bit of ply over the top and attach it all. I've got a bit of a station area or a DMU um, stapling point. I might use this, this area for another little station. Obviously, a point coming off, off the station area and use it as like a little branch line and I think that's where I'm going to get the name with me website it's called Leicester Junction it's going to be the little junction so if it ain't too sure yet but that's what that's going to be and that should look alright um, going to sort out my lighting get another another three of these tube lights because I need one to go down there where the loco shed in the with the Catania box wagons will be stabled and if they want to put a new point here that's going to be either a tanks tank siding or the other half of the sea cow the mainline blue sea cow and I'll keep one over that side and that's it for now we've got over here, still got this bit where it used to be a station but that's probably be coming out it's going to be HST sidings I reckon when I get a couple of HSTs um, and that's it really so just keep a look out on the channel hopefully in a couple of weeks the majority of my work that I need to do we get done because I'm, I'm getting ready to the point where I get some um, cork in that lot for all my points and start putting point motors in I can start ballasting so this gas class, class 58 just come back when you can and have a look see what progress I'm making and hopefully this st station area is going to be one of the areas that I'm really going to concentrate on first before I touch the fiddle yard side so just keep a look out on the channel and then you'll see what's going on